of the podcast. Production Slash value is skyrocketing. We got some mics for the boys. We throw it on the business card. Write it off as a business expense. That should be fine. I just need the files for the yeah. audio and stuff. Sweet. Episode two. Um, Coming at you. Two. Episode two. two. Two middle fingers. It's week 11, too. That works. Oh! Look at that. We always thinking. We are so much smarter than all you motherfuckers. Literally, all you <laughs> watching this video, we are smarter than you. See the shirt? This clarifies that. Ask him where I uh, drift. Yeah. 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 Is that your thing? <laughs> We ready. Check one, check one, check two. Welcome back to the second episode of the E-Town Get Down Fantasy Football League recap. As y'all know, last week was our first ever show, so we had to double down, upped our production. All y'all were fucking whining in the comments. Mm -hmm. I can't hear you hear this. Like, you guys are in a fucking dungeon. I saw the cavernous comments. I saw the cavernous, too. I actually kind of like that. I was like, you know what? We got fucking grit up in here. Not Kaepernick, cavernous. So last week, we kind of caught you guys up on the league everything that's happened from the draft up until week 10. But again, we always need your guys' help to let us know what you want us to do in these segments. But we figure we're going to jump into uh, the waiver wire. What happened on the waiver wire this week? We play with a fab budget, <clears throat> as you should be if you're not. It's time to grow up a little bit. Learn we, how to spend that money. Exactly. We got, we got the fab budget going. Uh, we're going to jump back into our matchup because, as you know, it had very heavy playoff implications. I'm not going to... Uh, Spoil anything for you guys. Max has a big fucking smirk on his face already. It was, back and forth. It was, it was a good match for a while, yeah, all nice. the way up until almost the end of the four o'clock games before yeah, Ertz got on. Kind of. That last like play or two he had, yeah. But we're gonna break down the league as we have been thus far, um, and kind of just talk about what's going on and and maybe hit on some player analysis into some injuries as well, some devastating injuries. I know Nick felt like that one was probably a family injury at this point. I swear to God, I thought my left nut was taken when I saw that on Twitter today. <laughs> We're gonna jump right into the uh, into the fab budgets right now. I honestly somebody, didn't really get somebody, a chance somebody, to look at it because I didn't really make any moves. Somebody dropped like Frank Gore. Okay, that's well, disrespectful. That's a massive. Uh, Depends on who none of us have fab budget. By the way, we have no dollars left. Yeah. Oh. So I want I want to talk about that for a second because I I I think I blew my fab budget super early, like week four, or week five. Yeah, well, you, I got think the guys you tend to do that every year, though. You're, I do. I am better. I am quick on the trigger with that stuff, uh, but. People, like, I remember I tweeted that out, and people started being like, who did you spend money on? Like, how did you blow your budget already? I am totally okay blowing budget early on in the year, because I think that's when depth charts are, like, super unknown. You know what I mean? And that's when you can land guys like Philip Lindsay. Obviously, later on in the year, you can land, like, the the backups, you know, like the Latavius Murrays and the Geos if something happens. But I think the beginning of the year is when you could pick somebody up and have them as a starter for the entirety of the year. So I have yeah. no problem doing that because it's so skewed at that time. I, I, I don't either. And there's a lot of guys, when you go later on, it could be, like you said, Latavius Martin, who's been good for, what, a six-week stretch, whatever it is. I but good. you know, once Dalvin Cook comes back, that's that's his back. Exactly. Yes. I'm hanging on to him, though. I have him no, on my roster. Course. Right. I'm, I'm waiting for that pregame hammy tweak. Dude, he was a Raider. <laughs> you know? Latavius Martin was a Raider. Yeah. You hang on to those guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How far has that gotten you this season? <laughs> I don't have any former Raiders. Is there any Raider producing in fantasy football right now? Jared Cook. Mm, that's a when, he, oh, when he chooses to. Yeah. When he chooses no, to. From the tight end position. Yeah. True. They don't even. They can't score touchdowns. No, it's no it's awful. Touchdown. He's like a thirty point game or a one point game. Imagine being John Gruden. Bro, that was. That's the greatest job in sports. Hundred million dollars he got to come in there and, and it's guaranteed he's destroy be there for, yeah. that franchise. Literally. You yeah. traded the best defensive players since the goat. I have it right here. John Gruden. Destroying Raiders or building a dynasty? Absolutely <laughs> not. The former? The, yeah. Is that what they say? The what former is the, the first one. The former, yeah. Go the yeah. All right. Let's check out these. Let's check out these pickups. So, a lot of defensive moves. Yeah. I'm going to put these up on the screen right now. So, yeah. I got a few comments to make. Well, first of all, the only player that got budget spent on him was Rashad Penny. Um, Jason, who's in last place right now, go, dropped Cooper Cup. RIP to the only white boy representing out there in the NFL. Picked up Rashad Penny. Coming off that game, 12 for 108. Yeah, you're right. I spoke too soon on that one. 12 for 108. Had that big game. Now Chris Carson is expected to play. He plays tomorrow night, right? Yeah, he does. Well, actually, yeah. ah, fuck. Well, this is going to be released on Friday probably. So, so Chris Carson has already played. Chris Carson has already played. 
Um, and we don't know what happened with Rashad Penny, but we're filming this Wednesday night, so we have already heard the news Chris Carson is going to play, pushing Mike Davis back into that two role, Rashad Penny probably into that three role, and probably unusable at this point outside of another Chris Carson injury. So that's probably $9 not well spent by Jason. But, but at this point, does he really have any games? Yeah, it's very true. Yeah. Hey, hold on. In a quick I, I, transaction notes aside, I, I know we're, we're into that right now, but that is a, that is a muddy backfield. Well, Seattle? Yeah. That is, I, I think Carson's the best of the three. 100%. Yeah, he just can't, can't say healthy. Most, he can't say healthy. Yeah. Is he going to get enough volume to. I mean, he's projected almost 13 points. He's yeah. On my bench. I have no trust in him. To go out there and do that. He's going to get the volume. And it's not like one of those situations where, um, you know, there's a lot of guys right now that are usually you chase volume and redraft, right? That's where the opportunity comes. But there are a lot of guys like Doug Martin, um, Frank Gore, that are getting, you know, 15, 20 touches and are fucking unusable in fantasy yeah, football. Yeah. I don't think that's the case with Chris Carson, though, because Seattle's actually been, you know, somewhat successful with well, the ball on the ground. Their entire game is running the ball. Yeah. If they don't have that run game, they have nothing. Yeah. It's been a surprise of the year. Yeah. Oh well. I'm, I never in my life thought they'd be this good. No. Me too. I had them pegged as like a six and six ten and team. Six and ten, seven yeah. and nine team. Yeah. the year, I put a bet on Pete Carroll to be the first coach fired because he's been there for I think he's old. Do you know he's the oldest? Do you know he's the oldest coach in the NFL? Yeah, he's like seventy yeah, he's like years old. Seven, yeah, I didn't know that, dude. That's why I did it. Guy looks. Guy energy. looks good. He does. Yeah. Guy looks good. He's got, the, he's got the energy and the fired and up. the jawline of like a like a forty. God, I wish we could. I wish we can go back in time. I wish we can go back in time and 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 relive those Matt Liner, Reggie Bush, Pete Carroll days, man. I was like sixteen at the time, and I was vicariously living through them because I can only imagine how fucking good life was at USC. That was the most I ever watched college football. That was so much fun. I was a Texas fan at the time, and I still loved watching USC. Yeah, you know, we beat their ass. They have like three three wide receivers named named Mike Williams. They had Mike. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had like multiple Mike Williams. That team was just fucking out of control. Um, I don't know how we even got there. Vince Young. Vince Young, didn't they have... Uh, he ran touchdown. Was Jamal Charles on that team too? Or is that way too early? They had a stud running back. They had a stud running back. Oh, who was it? I don't know. I forget who the running back was, but... All right, we're going we're gonna to keep moving down the free agent list. Uh, next up was Josh Reynolds. Good pickup, considering Cooper Cup's gone. It's going to be a full-time wide receiver in that Rams offense. I'd say low floor, high ceiling. If you're desperate, not a bad plug in there. Um, By week, you need someone throw in. Yeah. And we saw the two weeks when Cup was gone. He had an absolute dud of a game, and then the next game he caught two touchdowns. So I think, you know, you could do worse than someone in that offense who's well, playing yeah, on every the, snap. The Rams are going to score. It's just a matter of whether or not Todd Gurley is going to score all the touchdowns. That's, that's it. <laughs> exactly. You hope that they about, it here's hoping for other league purposes Robert Woods gets those. Bro. Gets in the end. I know. Is he going to move into the slot? Yeah, he is. Okay, He's going to play 65% of the snaps on the slot. I want every slot receiver I can get. So. Same. It's just the way the NFL yeah, is now. I don't understand why de- def- like defensive coaches don't pick up on this trend and start shifting. Like, you know, it, it's always like, or even your best cornerback. Like, what are you doing? Like, I get it that, you know, Tredavious White is, no, actually, the Bills are not that bad of a uh, defense. But teams that, like, have one stud cornerback, right, and... They go against, like, the, I don't know, the Vikings. Say Stephon Diggs is out, they go against the Vikings. They won't put their top cornerback on Adam Thielen. They'll keep their slot cornerback, who usually sucks, unless their name is, like, Kendall Fuller, off of Thielen. And, I'm like, it's a major, major mismatch. I don't, I don't understand, like, how these coaches think. But, um... Well, they have jobs for a reason, right? I mean, Mike McCoy lasted, what, seven games? <laughs> it's facts. a common theme in the NFL, though. Guys don't use their players how they should. They just use them in their scheme that they think works. I know. It, like, it's trying to fit all fucking all square... Summer. Yeah, they're all so stubborn. David Johnson was running between the fucking tackles every goddamn play. I know. Put they don't fucking don't run through tackles. No. I saw Carlos Hyde got like six carries, but they're writing articles about how excited they are for him to be a downhill runner. But give him halfback sweeps to the side. It's it's. It's miserable. It's, it's hard to watch. You do realize like the next wave of coaches are gonna be guys like us, right? Well, it's be younger, offensive minded coaches. Handsome. Yeah. Handsome. Right We're the next wave. Sean McVay, Sean McVay yeah. is like three years older than us, which is, which is the sick part. Literally, yeah, literally <laughs> which is the sick, older. sick part. He's got that red hair. Yeah. Could be Sean McVay. Have you seen his wife? Okay. Have you seen his wife? Oh, yeah, obviously. absolute okay, smoke I've show. Never seen her. I'll tell you right now, she's a smoke. Yeah, you don't actually have. You don't actually have to know that. <laughs> Didn't Jared Goff? Wasn't that like in the off season where he was like texting somebody like? McVay's girlfriend can get it or something. Really? Like that. No, I didn't see that. You didn't see that? No, that's I'm hilarious. Like I'm not surprised. I'm, Jared Goff definitely absolutely claps cheeks out he there. He looks and, like Ryan Gosling. Of course he does. Yeah, he kind of. He looks like a. He looks like Ryan Gosling, but 
like permanently has a dumb fucking yes. look on his face like all the time. Face. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's like a smart ass dude, but the, when you look at him, you're just like, like why? Do you, why do you look like that? You he's know, he's got like a slight little bit of that Eli in this too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right, that's where I stopped. Little anyway. droop, a little droop. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's keep moving down the list. We are. I want to. I want to climb, climb through here and talk about how you dropped Corey Davis and someone else picked him up. No one bit on him. I tried to get him, okay. but I guess okay. Salami fucking Sam beat okay. me to the punch, and he's probably gonna play him against me this week and fucking yeah. make. Okay. Fuck, go. Let me, let me tell you something about Corey Davis. Yeah, he sucks. That guy he's actually a sucks. Piece of motherfucking shit. <laughs> so help me God, Corey Davis. I hope you listen to this. I kept him. I, this might be like the fourth year in a row I kept him. He's been in the league two years. I swear to God, he is so goddamn bad. When you drop him or you don't play him, he always produces. When you play him, he puts up 3.2. Yeah. Always. Yeah. 1800 bucks. He's the most unreliable piece of shit. <laughs> what was he drafted? Fifth? Uh, in in the NFL. In the NFL. Yeah, oh. fifth. Where, where did he go? To it was school? either fifth or sixth. Where did he go to school? Um, you wow. guys don't I, even know. I can't no. even think. He no. is a piece of fucking <laughs> shit, and I will go to my grave saying that I will never. I'm looking at his game stats right now: nine points, eight points, four points, twenty-seven, six point nine, two point nine, two point five, nine, twenty-two. So it's like, and the argument was always just like he's getting the targets, he's getting the targets. Eventually, they're gonna come, but like. When are you gonna actually throw him in your lineup and be confident about it? Why? Never. Like I should not. Be no, no, no. I, I don't. That no, you you shouldn't. And I have a pretty deep bench, so I'm not. You, you shouldn't be. It's all recency bias. It is. It's, it's exactly. Right. I want to talk about the next pickup. None of the other ones are really noticeable, but you picked up Baltimore. I, yeah. That's the next great one. fucking pickup because Disagree. this is the time of the season. I actually want to ask you guys about this. So when you're preparing for playoffs, right? You got to start looking ahead. And people ask me like, "What do you what What do you do roster construction wise when you're trying to get into the or not trying to get into, but when you're in playoff mode, right? You're thinking about being in the playoffs." Mm-hmm. And I'm always saying like, "I have no problem." Throughout the season, I usually don't roster multiple defenses or multiple tight ends and shit like that. Uh, however, I think if you're streaming quarterback, I think if you're streaming defenses, now is the time to start looking at schedules. Baltimore is a great pickup because not only do they play. Um, whoever they play this, who do they play this week? Cincinnati, Cincinnati. who's terrible without AJ Green. Next they week. also play Oakland next week. Correct. So that's when you want to start looking ahead and even looking at defenses that are playing week 14, 15, 16, things look, like that. Look on my bench. I have the Bengals defense also week 15. They play the Raiders. Okay. There you go. Yeah. So yeah. so now is the time to start looking at the Raiders schedule, uh, the, the Bills schedule, the Jets schedule, see who they're playing. And if you have room on your roster, like if you're rostering, I don't know, a, a, an Eagles running back or if you're rostering a wide receiver on the Saints not named Michael Thomas, like... You could probably let those guys go and play the defensive streaming thing because that is that is how you win championships. You can't have the person you're playing against have a defense put up 25 points and you end up with a fucking negative two point defense. That's going to cost you championships. So look ahead, Baltimore. If they're on your wire right now, go pick them up. Um, I picked up New Orleans for this week only because a lot of the top streamers are already off the board. Against Philly. Yeah, they're at home. They're big favorites. That New Orleans, their defense, their defense is looking a lot better. It's the same way it started off last year. Remember how? Remember going into the year last year, how bad everyone's like the Saints defense is one of the worst in the NFL, yeah. right? And then after like five games, we're like, holy shit, they, they might be shit. for real. You know what I mean? They just need to get it together. <coughs> exactly, and I think that's what we're starting to see now. And I'm not impressed by the Eagles' offense. They have no ground game whatsoever. No. Wentz looks good, but I like I like uh, New Orleans as a as a uh, low key. Stream. My um, my first note on here is Saints best team in the NFL. Question mark. That's not even close. Yeah, right? they're legit. I don't think it's close. Like, the they are the best Rams, team in the NFL. Over yeah, the overall, uh, over the Patriots easily. The Rams would be a good game. I like them over the Rams. I, I I think that I think Kansas City and the Saints would be the best matchup. Yes. I think that would be awesome. Without doubt. So, Super Bowl, we, I mean, this is not fancy, but you're saying you think. That's the best matchup, but do you, who do you think comes out of the AFC? Uh, do we, do we just discredit the fucking Patriots? Like, no. We, dude, know it's, we know they're going to win the AFC championship. Yes. Some, th- th- it's, something feels a little bit different this year yeah. than the other years. And I, and we're not people... I'm not someone who says that every year. Because there are people that are every like, Oh, say, this is the year the Patriots fall off and they never take fucking... The, what do you say for the anti-credit for being fucking wrong yeah, about right. the Patriots? There are people that say that every year. I never say that because you always just trust in the Patriots to be there. Something feels off this year. I think it. Brady's not playing that well. No, no he's not. He's my. Not. He's a quarterback in in multiple super flexes I have, and I've just been. He's been a plug and play guy, but I'm like looking at his numbers recently. I'm like he's not. 
Gronk's out. Gronk's been out. I mean, yeah. Gordon didn't get till halfway through the season. Edelman missed four games. Like, he's had no running game pretty much. No, I think going out. on with the front office and Kraft and Brady and Belichick. There's something going on there. There's something going on there, man. This dynasty is Edelman scares me, by the way, fans. probably going to be intact for the next, like, five years. So, we're, <laughs> we're going to end up being wrong, I'd assume. But. I will say, though, I read, I these words. I read a report yesterday for, uh, for my Giants faithful that are listening. I know all big dogs are Giants faithful, so... <laughs> I would just say out loud. Not big facts. I was reading a report that Belichick was enamored and wanted to trade up for our fourth round draft pick, Kyle Oletta. He said he sees all of Brady in Kyle Oletta, so take that what it's worth. I don't know. Unfor- unfortunately, like unfortunately, a, you need a Bill Belichick yeah. to create a Tom okay. Brady. Yeah, we got, we got a Pat Sherman. Facts. We'll move on. The Sherman. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was... That was <laughs> shut your face hole. That was... Good, good game, real, real good. Yeah, it was a good time. Um, yeah, I'm excited for this Monday night coming up, man. I think we should. I think we should end the episode talking about the Monday night game, Absolutely. the, the, the there Chiefs Rams. There's gonna be so many fantasy games where each. Dude, the report like of nine. actually, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely we'll go we'll go on with that yeah, later. Well, um, so that was the waiver wire. That's what happened this league. No, nothing big on the fab budgets. We, a lot of us spend our money pretty quickly, and uh, bucks on Nick Show was my last purchase. Probably the best purchase of the year. Yeah, I'm very, very poor. I'm, I'm, I'm living on those zero dollar bets. So we're gonna recap last week's matchup. We had the number. Were you two? You were two last week. I was three last week. And I'll pull up the matchup. You guys pull it up. Yep. Uh, so Jesus. as you can see, it wasn't a fun week for me. I mean, I, I did well. It was a lot closer than the final score indicated. Yeah, I did oh, yes. well. Let's put it down. Well, we'll put it this way. Yeah, he had Zach Ertz going into Sunday Night Football. Yeah. At that time, it was about it was almost, it was tied. So obviously, he did what, five right points to win right there. Yeah. yeah, Zach Ertz is the difference. And we we were texting all throughout the day, and you guys were going back and forth like. He scored a touchdown. He scored a touchdown. Yeah. Scored a touchdown. I, you started off hot off the gate, and I was like, damn, I'm done. Then I made like a real quick comeback. I told you were going to come back. It's a, it always happens. Yeah. So we had a crazy, crazy nail biter of a game. Um, and, and looking at these scores, like these are high, these are both high scores. 166 is not, you know, that probably maybe one team a week hits that on a normal yeah, basis. Right. So it's not like these leagues where it's like full PPR and like all these players in, and that's like a higher score. These were both just very high scoring teams. It, that had to be the highest score of the year, no? No one's hit 200. I, I believe so, yeah. You didn't hit 200, did you? I did not. Okay, so I that was... 170 back-to-back weeks, but I did not hit 200. So highest score of the league. year, which kept Max in second place. That pushed me so out insane. That pushed me out to fifth place. I'm currently out of the playoff picture. With a far, by far better roster than that. Yeah, my roster, I'm still very confident I get in, and I have the second, well, third most points. I have... Point yeah, z- yeah, point zero eight fair. points yeah. less than you. I'm. We, we, we have what is it? One two three. We have like fifty more points. Yeah. Yeah. I know. So points wise, us three are crushing it against the rest of them. Um, however, I just gotten. I've had the most points scored against me, so that's always going to be shitty. Is one up against Slami Sam R I P, a there relevant name right now. I wanted to beat one. That's George for you guys that don't know. And that's a close one too. It was, was a close a one. A lot less closer than it should have been. Well, not really. Kittle and Odell went for about what. 34 combined. Kittle had to have you nervous. Uh, he did. Do you have a tight end on your bench on bye? Do you have Ebron? Ebron. So how do you... F- uh, oh, you had Ebron playing and oh, you didn't I had, play him. I had Ebron on the bench. I had Watson. Mm, interesting. Okay. I had, I had to play Eckler because my buys were tough. I didn't have feeling. I played Humphreys. I took him out. Remember the last second, guys? Yeah. I literally texted these guys probably about like 12.51. I'm like, do I play Humphreys? Adam fucking Humphreys. <laughs> Only because he, he caught like 464 balls last week from from Fitz Cunt. But, uh, <laughs> just, just like, you know what? Let's ride the wave. He's, he's white. Let's now ride the Adam Humphreys, Humphreys wave, who has a good Let's game every Humphreys. fucking once a year. Yeah, yeah. Why was Kenny Galladay on your bench? That's who I took Humphreys out for. Because oh, Galladay yeah. was playing Chicago. I'm like, you know what? I don't like the matchup. Uh, Galladay's been... Pretty bad the last few Dude, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Process wise, I think that was a good benching. I did a, I filmed a trade target video today, like sell high, buy low kind of guys. Galladay was on that list. He had a horrible game the first game without tape. This game, all of his points came in the fourth quarter with Marvin Jones hurt. He had at least half of his production, his only, his only touchdown while they were down by like 25 points. So, you know, outside of that happening, like Galladay has a really shitty game. You're right. And Galladay is. 
ridiculous and talented. But I, I didn't like the matchup. I didn't like how he was playing. It just all these factors, whatever, whatever went in. That's the best thing in the world, though, when you have fucking four guys on your roster that score three points and you, you, you come away with a dub. Damn. And he started off. He started off. I had Brown and Cam. Though. I had Brown yeah. and Cam go for 32 on Thursday. He had he had Juju 17, 18 on. Thursday. Yeah, we filmed last last week's fly. episode I'm while that was going on. I thought I was yeah. toast in the water. Yeah. Andy Dalton reverting back to Andy Dalton was huge. Well, George is the reason George won't last is because his quarterbacks too. He waited in the draft. He waited and went with. Rivers, Dalton, and Keenum, and that worked for a while because they were all kind of hot in the beginning of the year. No way all it took was one injury to AJ Green, one. Dalton. Keenum is showing his true colors. Never good. Yeah, so you literally look at George's team. I'm looking at it right now. Beckham, you know what you're getting from Beckham. He's a stud. Gurley's a stud. Juju, Juju's good. Mm-hmm. I, I don't trust Keon Lewis. Greg, no, neither do I. Greg Kittle is what probably the second best fantasy tight end this year. I don't know. Who, I don't know who Greg Kittle is. George Kittle. Yeah, George Kittle's. I would say George, George Kittle's three. If he's not there, he's on his way. Kelsey Ertz Kittle, yeah. He's climbing. Kelsey Ertz Kittle, okay, for top three. Yeah, for sure. So I mean, his team isn't 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 trash, but it doesn't it does not put up points. Nah, his team. He has too many holes in his lineup. Mm-hmm. Too many holes. Far too many. Deion Lewis, Andy Dalton, Phil. I mean, like I love Phil. Once a giant, always a giant. But he he doesn't get it done for me. Dalton's atrocious. Yeah. So, so talking about Steen's matchup, we're going to flip it to this week, week 11, because I take on George. Now, George is in sixth place. I'm in fifth place. This is huge. Most li- if I win this game, I'm probably, most likely I'm going to get into the playoffs because I have the most points out of all the guys besides them two. So it's like as long as I have the same record, I'll be right there and I'll be fine with points. I kind of wish this offseason we switched our, our, our rules <laughs> yeah, from yeah, – uh, <laughs> no, I don't care. I don't care. I still like playing for fourth place. But last year, we, we put in a rule where the fourth spot in the playoffs was awarded to whoever had the most points, not whoever actually finished in fourth place. Most and uh, fourth through ten. Yeah, so we did that for one year, and then uh, apparently it was not a favorite of the league. So we took a vote this summer, and we got to switch back to whoever gets fourth place. Now, I have a feeling that's going to end up fucking me over. because Dude, How did that work out last year? Did fourth, did, was it the first four, or were you fifth? I was in, well. I was in fifth place uh, on the standings, but you that's I had right more now. points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve McNads got kicked Steve, out because yeah, I remember he was pissed, Steve and he, was and upset. the vote this year came down that he was the last vote to vote on it, and we're like, we don't even need to get his answer because we know he's already pissed from fucking last year yes. getting kicked out of the playoffs Love in fourth. It. Love it. Right. So we look at me and Steen's matchup now, projection wise. I'm just looking at my roster. Like it's twenty times better than his. I'm literally looking at it right now. Yeah. Your stack of Woods. Adams, Dig is I mean, lethal. Your one quarterback's probably going to put up more points than both teams. Damn, man, I tell you what, I might root for Steen. I don't want your team in the playoffs. Yeah, my team is very well-rounded. I don't mean it disrespectful. No, no, no my, team is, my team is super then well-rounded. I don't, want to, I don't want to see Gurley in my first round. Not right, so this is the problem here. It's like I play George right now. And no one wants Todd Gurley's ass in the playoffs because you could have holes in your roster, but Gurley can put up that forty point game. Make up for two of them. Exactly. So it's not really like no one wants George in the playoffs. So if I beat him, he just lost to Nick. I beat him this week, and then he has Gurley on a bye the following week, which basically means that's an L. He'll be out of the playoffs pretty much if he goes three. If he drops three in a row, you know how fucking bad you have to be at fantasy football to have Todd Gurley on your roster and not make the playoffs this year. <laughs> Like I, it's so true. George it's will so not true. listen to this, but if he did, like I, George, drop a comment if you're listening. Every, I'm in six leagues. Every league that has Gurley in it, like who's who has Gurley on their team, is number one. Yeah, and I'm in two of them, so I, that's why I know. That's and solid. So it's literally you, like you said, you have to be a piss and piece of shit <laughs> player not to make the playoffs with Todd Gurley on your roster. Yeah, so hopefully that's what that's what happens. Um, and that's our matchup. So I, I'm feeling, I'm definitely feeling good. Keenum at LA is not easy. Juju at Jacksonville with AJ Bowie coming back. Um, even like Beckham, I know how good he is, but yo, you're getting that Meadowlands win. You never know. Eli I still, yeah, I don't, tr- I don't trust it. Gurley's gonna probably have 40 points against Kansas City. Sure, I would expect 30. Yeah, Gurley, man. yeah, easily. That's going to be, and that's what we talked about. I mean, it, it depends how the game goes. But last week, a, a big part of our game was the fact that Kelsey had 
what, seven points, and Tyreek Hill went for, like, 30. That was going to be the factor. Because the the week before that, you know, Kelsey had 25 points or whatever, and it was the other way, and I had Patrick Mahomes. So that's what kind of screwed me there. But Kareem Hunt didn't even go off. No. Nah. Kareem Hunt had, like, 10 points. Yeah, that was a pr- yeah, you left a lot of points on the bench, too, oh, really? so it could have been even bigger. I'm going to talk about that game. Yeah, but like I was saying, Eric. Sorry, Eric. I mean, he's married. By the way, congrats, Eric. You guys made it public. So he's having a kid. Eric's going to have a baby. Wait, I have a, I actually have a question for the audience because I know some of these people are probably older. So I know some of you guys will reach out to me and tell me that you've been in a league for 15, 20 years. Has anyone out there ever been in a league with their friends for that long and expanded it because of a child? When that child came of age. Like you, the child into the league? Like Eric's kid would be in our league in, actually, that 12 would... 12 years? Nah, not 12. <laughs> it's too serious for him to be paying that buy-in. Well, by then, the buy would be like 10 grand. It would have to be, yeah, it would have to... You'd have, have to be like 20, 20 years Eric's old, I guess. Eric's fuck kid is never going to be in this league. <laughs> I don't know, man. Right here first, guys. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I guess you'd have to be in a fantasy league for like f- literally 40 years for that yeah, to have yeah, ever happen. Yeah, have you never know. There's crazy fucking people out there, man. Because it's 17, you have a little mistake by the way. Eric's about 26. I'm really happy for that. Eric and, uh, and his wife are really, really good people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. good. Big fans of them. Eric, it, Eric is the one who hosts us for the Town Got Down draft every year, by the way. Eric might be the nicest guy I've ever met. Before. Yeah, he's a very nice guy. He's going to lose this week. But his team, his team is trash. He's somehow in the playoffs. His team is trash. By but the way, can I, can I point out a fact? It's every fucking year in this goddamn league. Eric always has a ton of money to spend. Yeah, he doesn't yeah, spend any of his fab money. Fucking very frugal. He's made nine moves in seven and three. I don't think he looks. I don't think he looks. He drafted seven defenses. <laughs> I don't think he looks at the league. I, I think he goes on once a week on Sunday morning, sets his lineup, and that's it. Set my lineup and walk away. Yeah, I'm on that shit every day. Yeah, and every once in a while, if he hears if he hears something good about a defense, he'll pick them up. But I think that's like the only thing he does. He's got fifty one dollars. Can't have enough defense. Fifty one dollars to spend. He didn't spend on Nick Chubb. What a yeah, I remember going into the league, and yeah, that's the thing. Like, there's no way you would have known about that. Paying attention, like, all right, tomorrow's no, the There's no way. I got. Well, I put it. I bet everything. I think I had twenty seven dollars. Yeah, I bet. I bet all, I bet all zero of my dollars. Yeah. <laughs> you can't win it if you're not in it. Exactly. I spent it all on. One guy that I'm pumped up that I got, and it could be a total dud, but Lamar Jackson. No one picked him up. Yeah. If he, if Joe Flacco doesn't play, Lamar Jackson gets Cincinnati. He's played on like a total of like. 40 snaps this year and has like 130 rushing yards. Yeah, yes. well, I, well, what's his snap count going to be? I heard they were going to play Roger. Yeah, I, heard I did hear that too, but I don't know. If he's named the starter, because I have. Uh, the risk. I mean, for instance, I have. Who do I have on? I have one of these guys on bye next week and he plays the Raiders. So that's like a huge pickup for me. If Lamar. Could I drop? Yeah. I, I did it two weeks ago because I heard the news early. Or I did it. I don't remember. I remember. I did it on a random day because yeah. we have our fab budget. We have our fab, our blind bet processes every single day except monday tuesday so if you want to pick a guy up on wednesday or thursday uh you could do that and most people probably don't pay attention like the day after the actual the first one which is wednesday which is people's normals um pickup so i picked them up on a random day and then the news broke so i'm like okay i'm, I'm kind of just like stashing him because i'm going to need a quarterback to have on buy and in another league in a super flex league i picked up lamar jackson traded him and Corey davis for aj green and there was just a report that came out that AJ Green might even play this Sunday yeah, already. He might. I thought he was like surgery. He was part, he no was, surgery. He was a limited participant today. Really? He did. He practiced a little I, bit today. That's what I saw. Well, yeah, I knew he was going to be out a couple weeks, and then they said he's probably going to be back December. And then all of a sudden, the report came out today that was like Marvin Lewis hopes he could play. Probably because the last week they got smoked. And like shit, we need AJ Green back. Exactly. That's Fix your fucking that's the thinking. So now he might come back. He's probably going to re-injure himself or or just play not well. Which but, is? Um, you think they use him as like a decoy kind of thing, like having uh, him in the field? Like why do a Calvin Johnson? Maybe. Ruin people's lives. I fucking hope. Yeah. Like, like, can you even start him? I don't know. But yeah, I swapped Lamar Jackson and Corey Davis because the guy was desperate for a quarterback. He's looking for upside. People who are fighting for a playoff spot are going to want to flip green for something right now for instant production. So, got Lamar Jackson. Excited about that. Um, let's move over to who else? I don't is- like Lamar Jackson. Can't speak English. That is true. Anyway, it's a good thing you don't yeah, need to. Sorry. You don't really need to talk on the football field. He's about, Especially when you're a quarterback. He's, yeah, he about that action, boss. Um, do we got any other? So that's that's the matchup of the, of the week with the most implications, I would say. Are there any other good matchups? 
going on? Uh, key matchups? Maybe you want to talk about last place, guys. Steve McNanny's team is projected for 63 points. Wait, wait, is he said his whole roster yet, his full roster? He had a lot of buys. Your team, I thought your team was projected like 185. What happened to that? 175. They're, why they're at 153 right now? Me? Yeah. What the hell did I do? Who'd they lower? But oh, there's a lot Steve, of people, apparently. Case, well, that was a ridiculous... Steve's got five guys. Steve's got five guys on buy. Steve's got five guys on buy. Steve, that, this is the... What do you do in his situation? If you have five guys that you don't want to drop, but you need to... He's going to play Carl's Hyde. We'll look at his lineup, right? Oh, my God. Well, he's, he's dropping Carl's Hyde. Hyde. He's yeah, that's a, yeah, I mean, that's the obvious answer. I guess, I guess usually you won't be in that situation. Yo, let's go Jay, baby! Like he's got Doug Mar and he can plug in. I mean, his t- it doesn't matter for him at this point. He's just trying to set a lineup. And but you don't want to get last place. Victory. Playing I for last place. I want to run a 5K in a fucking suit. Yeah. So, yeah, I get That's days. why Jay didn't Jay, trade me James White. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's got he's got four players that are, like, on the IR on, on his bench that he could drop right now. I don't know I don't know what he's doing. And I know Steve listens to this shit, too. He probably does. He fucking. This is the worst team I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> You can I bet that. You can bet that on draft night that that's going to happen with him, though. I have though. never seen a worse team in my life. Yeah. i tell you what, though, Max. He's got, a sec- he's got two second-round picks next year. What a waste Does that... Does he know how to use that? What a, no, absolutely not. That's, that's what a waste that know. Deech... If, if there's anyone that I feel comfortable with having two second-round picks and, and still not vying for so a no playoff spot... So yeah. I, um, I, I really regret not pushing, moving one of my keepers... For a uh, for a stud this year, like I should have traded, I should have went to Deech, and I guess he's gonna be able to keep Connor. But I should have went to someone else and gave him either Aaron Jones or Carryon Johnson because I'm not gonna be able to pick one and then got an upgrade for this year. They're out of the playoffs. Be like, listen, you can keep him next year. You're not gonna win this year. I was, I was pushing guys, uh, guys, guys hard on on Jay just for like I told you guys last week. Or from Sanders, Carson, guys, and uh, Lamar Miller for, for what? James White. He said no. Really? Yeah. What the fuck? He said no. Wait, say that again? I offered Jason, Darius Geis. Who is a, key, a possible keeper Jason for next year. Stored on my IR. Does Jason have any keeper options? <sighs> Why the I'm fuck would he turn that down? Run. That's like a win via the trade he and a win for four, next year. He gets three guys he can plug in right now who are probably better than more on his roster. That's ins- insanity. He go, and he, uh, Emmanuel Sanders. I don't see any keeper value. Been an MVP candidate. <laughs> Lamar Miller, solid, whatever. Chris Carson, okay. And Gus for James White. That's insanity. Did he turn that down? He turned it down. He said yes. He said, I had the text. He said, send the trade. I sent it. He said, I'm sorry. He said, two days later, he said, I'm sorry, brother. I'm going to. Some cold feet. He, that he is. Did, no, he legit had cold feet. He said, I'm sorry, brother. I'm going to. I'm upset about I'm gonna that. I'm going to roll my guys. I'm going to try not to get last. I said, all right, man. I love that. I'm glad Thank he. Did. You, I'm glad he didn't do it. Yeah, but horrible. You have James White. Well, horrible, I lost horrible. Two guys in a start. Oh, I lost one. All right. Well, what other? We got any other good matchups in here to talk about? To make fun of? To do whatever? Whatever, whatever. Who's Joe playing? I pray to God he didn't make the playoffs. Playing a uh, good old grit. Ah, oh, this yeah. is the time grit fucking comes to life. No shot. He's playing Jalen Rashard. Yeah, it oh, does not look good. You do know Shane is three and two, right? He is now three and seven. And really? That's, that's my best friend. In the world, uh, so well, he's got he's that. got Sony, Duke, Gronk, all on by. Eh, you never know. Boomer Bus, maybe. I mean, he's got DeAndre Hopkins, Jordan Howard. Is Boomer Bus is can work, but not when you're playing against Julio, C Mac, Barkley. Yeah. How Joe is even struggling in this fucking class? He's been the same. Joe's team has been pretty steady. He's v- actually looking at it now, dude. He's very, very top heavy. Cause, Extremely top heavy. Like, look at his, his flexes. Like, I, Sutton. I'm, Sutton. I guess Jarvis Jar, uh, Jarvis Landry's been horrible Jarvis this year. Landry, yeah, he, he, I tell you what. No, I will. I will make Who's it. his second quarterback? Streaming. Hey, streaming. Josh Rosen he's right got now. three rookies. Rosen, make Mayfield. And, okay. So Joe, Joe's Joe's lineup's got some fucking holes. Why is Jared McKinnon on his IR? Does it really fucking matter? Because anyway. he drafted him. Okay. Actually, wait. Didn't he draft? Oh, no. He drafted him late in the draft. Matter. Either way. I will say this right now. Anybody out there who has Jarvis Landry on your fantasy team will not, I repeat, will not win a fantasy championship. Is that he's facts? A, he, it's a big facts only. He is a he is a cancer, and he 
sucks. <laughs> he just doesn't score touchdowns. No, yeah. he sucks. He's a, well, he he suck. literally gets 15 targets a game and maybe eclipses 40 yards. Yeah. Well, he's he just, sucks. He'll catch seven balls for 48 yards. They could just keep handing that ball to fucking Chubb. His numbers are horrible over the last, like, seven weeks. Yeah, Jeez. His only touchdown, he was, like, falling he into the sucks, end zone. He sucks, bro. He, had, he was, like, sliding in. He was good without without Baker. As soon as Baker got in, his yeah, numbers plummeted. Tyrod the God. I'll tell you what, though. Barkley McCaffrey is some fucking deal. That's a nice little stacky stack. Especially now Julio scoring touchdowns. Good God. Do you worry that they're not going to have Barkley play towards the end of the season? No. If the Giants don't win any more games? They'll keep running him into the dirt. The Giants yeah. are running. Finish him. The Giants are running the table. Is anyone, no one in the NFL is undefeated? Yeah. Or the Rams? No. No, the Rams the lost to the Saints. The Chiefs lost to the Pats. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, is, is, is Gurley have any, are there any teams that, I, I think the, I think the Rams lock up the NFC West if they win this week. Yeah, but they still have to fight for home field. They're going to yeah. yeah, I know, I know. Saints. Yeah, that's true, true. Todd Gurley owners pick up Malcolm Brown. Why? Now is the time to pick up handcuffs, man. The same thing I was saying with, like, here's the thing about when you're preparing for the playoffs, too. Your bench spots don't matter as much because you don't need depth because there's no more bye weeks. You're not trading with anyone anymore. So, like, that doesn't matter as much. So, if you if you have a handcuff, do it. I had a, I had mad people asking me, like, should I pick up C.J. Anderson? Like, that's not a fucking handcuff. First of all, he just got cut, too. So, that doesn't matter. But, like, you handcuffs are guys that you know for a sure – are going to step in and take over immediately. And the guy that you're handcuffing has to be a featured back. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, I'm not handcuffing Philip Lindsay with Royce Freeman because even if Philip Lindsay, I mean, I, I, that's a different situation. Yeah, Freeman would be a top waiver wire pickup, but he's not a handcuff. Yeah, if you want, look at my roster. I have Kareem Hunt and Alvin Kamara. And then on my bench, I have Spencer Ware and Mark Ingram. Right. I mean, Spencer Ware. You need to, you need to own Spencer Ware if you're a Hunt owner. You need to own Malcolm Brown if you're a Gurley owner. Rod Smith if you're a Zeke owner. I think um, Geo if you're a Mixon owner. Not that I think Mixon is incredible, but if Mixon goes down, then Geo takes over 20 touches a game. Um, I'm trying to think of who else is is a handcuff. I would even say like Edo Smith is a handcuff to Tevin Coleman. Because one person owning oh, yeah. one person owning that entire Falcons backfield is incredibly valuable. Yes. When they're splitting it, you know they're inconsistent with their points. But like, if one guy is, is taking over everything, then then your money there. Um, Derek Henry. Anybody? Well, I won't own him for nothing. <laughs> we're, not, we're not wasting our breath on him. Three Where's Bo Scarborough, by the way? Guy sucks. It's the best name in football. He got cut like a me. I think he got cut in the summer. Did, wasn't he a Cowboy? Seventh round pick, yeah. That a little off the, the fancy rail here, but did you guys see the Quinn Nelson video? Oh, the pancake! Screaming! I watch it every morning. So <laughs> get wake you, up get you I, jacked up. I want to make it my alarm in the morning. That I can wake up to. Some, Are you mad that the, the? I'm furious. If you go back to my Instagram and look at the post on draft day, it's Bradley Chubb. It says, "Welcome to Denver." Should have been Nelson. Zam. See, like, so I want some to. people take cold showers in the morning. Max watches Quentin Nelson pancake motherfuckers. I mean, how can you watch it and not get jacked up? Yeah. I, I mean, it's actually I'm out of control. Good. Andrew Luck is now going on like so 200 uh, snaps four or games without yeah. getting sacked. It just, and look at the Colts. They're rolling. That's yeah. one fucking year. Yeah. That That's offensive line is an atrocity for the last, what, four years? That was always their Achilles heel, yeah. Dude, unbelievable. I'm happy for Andrew. Me too, Anybody dude. I'm s- I'm channel, so like, like oh, Luck I love that. Yeah. Mother, we Here's set out on our journey oh against the Bengal, the stripes of the Bengal. Yeah, like, fu- so fucking funny. I, it's so good. I wonder who's the mastermind behind so, that. So, so hold on. I, I mean, another league. I know this is fantasy. Whatever, yeah, whatever. go for it. So, do we start Rogers tomorrow, or do we start Actually, Andrew that reminds Luck? Me. I'm gonna go on against, Instagram Live right now while we're uh, while you're talking. Yeah. Say that again. Do we start Aaron Rodgers tomorrow? Or do we start Andrew Luck against who they playing? Houston? Who's Rogers playing? Seattle. In Seattle. Six point touchdown. I figure Luck's good for three. I feel like the Thursday night games have been pretty high scoring. I know. I, th- I'm in a I think I have, I have. It's not yeah. a fair problem to have, but it's a problem. The defense have time to rest that whole week, so they just. I think I would. I think. How do you sit Rogers? Yeah, I don't think I would sit Rogers. Oh, I. Plus, you know, it's fun to watch someone go. As much as I hate the Thursday games, I it makes it, it, makes it I bitch about Thursday games every fucking week. Me too. I'm purposely <laughs> not playing Nick, Thursday, guys. Nick, I first person in here, Kristen. So, oh, uh, hey, Chris. <laughs> trying to set this up well. What's up, people? We're filming uh, 
the E Town Get Down Weekly Recap. Give us some questions. We ran out of sh- league shit to talk. Do we have anything else to talk about with our league? I mean, I have a lot uh, of shit to talk about. Not league wise, I can just throw some football. What up, people? Not Ask nice. us some cues. By the way, I have a lock of Century later on. We're yeah. filming. I have a lock of the Century later on. Oh, we got a LOTC? Mm-hmm. Well, maybe we'll pick some locks. Kind of sad that I was first. Hey, it's okay. You support the cause. Who, who, what is she sad? <laughs> sad <laughs> first. Can we go sideways? Does that work? Ooh. Uh, yeah, I guess so, right? Fuck yeah. I'm trying to get everybody in here. Hey, feel okay about Dalvin this week? Yeah, I feel good Absolutely. about Dalvin. Looked like a beast last week. Well, prior to their buy, and now that tells you that he's fully healthy, ready to go. Pre-game, pre-game hammy. Yeah, I think I think he'll be good to go though. What did he bust? Like fucking what up, what up? last week? Something big. Yeah, he went big. went like ten for ninety or something. Yeah, the stats. What else we got? What else we got? Ask me some questions. Ask us some questions. Favorite waiver wire stashes for rest of year. It's kind of hey, a gen- it's kind of a general question. Uh, I would say it's a good question. Yeah, but it's like it, it's dependent it's on the league. On team Dep- I would I would say like and cups just in general. Yeah, most of the time like waiver wire pickups yes. are going to be very weekly. Yeah, it's more streaming. I would say like look for quarterbacks that match up with bad matchups that your current quarterback has. Same thing with defenses. Doug Baldwin or John Brown. All right, so if yo, if you guys want to ask sit star questions, make sure you include uh, the scoring settings and make sure you include the team that they're playing against. Doug Baldwin plays the Packers. John Brown plays the Bengals. Uh, I Brown already ripped up the Bengals once this year. I kind of want to see what happens at the quarterback situation, though. Yeah, it's a tough one. That's a tough one. I would say if Flacco plays, definitely John Brown over Baldwin. Yes. Um, I think I would still probably play him regardless of who the quarterback is, to be honest. Uh, I think like they're going to pound rock. If, 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 if it's one of the other there, ones, yeah. Because they're going to probably do the run play option, you know. That's true. Um, yeah, but I still don't trust Baldwin, though. I feel like they're have like okay. the, they going to have the same. I played that motherfucker last week. <laughs> to no avail. Yeah, that's a tough one. What up, I homies? I just don't think Seattle throws the ball enough. They yo, run yo. too much. They are a run-dominant team. Yeah. Dude, they're the first in the NFL, yeah. Pick two, Anthony Miller, Valde, Peoples. I need scoring settings, and I need opponents. So right now, I love Anthony Miller just because of Mitch Trubisky. We ain't in that. I love A. Mills. <laughs> <sighs> Y'all are killing me. How do I turn the vid on my end? You want to get in, Wilson? I don't know. There's a way that you could screen share with me, you bish. You got to see this shit. What do you got? Fucking uh, share with me. There's like a button on the bottom that has two faces. Question. I'm not answering your questions. I'm playing against you, you cunt. How do you feel about Mixon rest of season? I like him. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I don't Probably think they. More. I don't think they fucking use him correctly. They, they don't pass it to him. First of all, they don't pass it to him enough. Wait, 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 wait. And the bank, exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. so how can you like Mixon as the as RB one if they're going to use Geo? And first and second of all, that fucking defense. Su- I mean, that offense sucks right now. Well, they did just fire oh! the defensive coordinator. What? Isn't What's you up? isn't you back? Oh, that's my water. We'll have to. Um, isn't you back? You back, back. back in the mix. You the god is back. That. He's their uh, special assistant head coach or something. Uh, they are not going to win another game this season. This Hugh's fuck. Yep. <laughs> Hugh was kind of a beast when he was in Cincy. He's not a head coach. That's really what it is. Yeah. Some guys are meant to be assistants, and some guys are meant to be head coaches. And Hugh Jackson is not a head coach. He's no longer driving the bus. I actually think Hugh Jackson's a really good coach, but that's just me. All right. I think you're hammered, so. We got a good one. <laughs> Does Kristen was. play in a fantasy league? No. Okay. Why? What did she She's say? She's naming names. Oh, good. <laughs> I told her. Oh, I was going to say, you definitely asked that because those are two of your players, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Alex Collins versus Cincy. Are you going to answer, answer her question? I will. She's next on the list. Oh, okay. All right, so. All right. Alex Collins versus Cincinnati. Carryon Johnson versus Carolina, Carson versus Green Bay, Ingram versus Philly, standard pick two. Jesus. Collins, Carryon, Carson, Ingram. My two are going to be, I'm definitely going Carryon here. Yeah. Uh, he's been super involved in the past game since Tate has left. And uh, my second out of Carson, Collins, Ingram. I like Ingram. You like Collins? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, I like the matchup for Collins. I just don't trust that. I don't know. Like, he might get all the passing work taken away now yeah. the time out's there. I don't know how many ca- he's, he's It's like, a standard league, too, though. He's a 10-carry guy. He's, they're playing the Bengals. That defense is fucking I, I like great. I like Ingram because I think uh, Philly's defense is not good this year against wait, the run. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Mark Ingram. I thought you said Evan Ingram. No, no, no. This is two, oh, ru- two running backs. Oh, oh, Ingram. I, I also I think the Saints roll. And anytime the Saints offense rolls, 
Ingram goes. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think there's going to be a lot of scoring opportunities. So I'm going to go Ingram and uh, I forget whatever the fuck I said. Big carry things on. for big players. What up? Carry <laughs> Joey on. Bones. Yeah, and carry on. Joey Bones, by the way, congrats, buddy. Yeah, congrats, oh, yeah. Joe. Good job. Fucking corrupt. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the family. Now, now, the, now the real, the, the royal the, family. The, the real <laughs> fantasy game is who weighs more by Christmas. Sure, Joe. Oh, yeah. I'm kidding, Joe. All right, kidding. Josh Reynolds versus the Chiefs, mm-hmm. or Anthony Miller versus the Miller. Vikings. PPR. Miller. Yeah, Miller's hot. Miller. I would go Miller too. I think you're getting too cute with Josh Reynolds. Give him a week. Who the fuck is Josh yeah. Reynolds? Yeah, exactly. He's now a full time like player. For fucking 24. I think Anthony Miller. Shawshank Redemption or Goodwill Hunting? Wow. Shawshank. Shawshank. Not even close. Not even close. Dude, <laughs> those two are like t- probably two of my top five faves yeah, of all time. Top probably five. Like two of my two. top seven in Shawshank. It's not even close. Shawshank's two. You got two Shawshanks. It's, it's I'm going to go with Goodwill. And my, Goodfellas, and my vote is the only one that fucking counts. That's not true. That's, fu- that's big facts. I'm in first place most points. That's big facts only. You're a fraud. You're on a two game night. Are you going to answer Christmas question? Lamar Miller or Chris Carson? Oh, no way I'm starting Lamar Miller. He's been horrible. No? Uh-huh. Like 20 points the other week. The other week? For the, like, the first time ever? They run a bye. They're, 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 they're getting it together. The, the week so before that, he had like seven carries to Alfred Blue's whatever. Why the fuck is Alfred Blue still in the fucking league? Alfred Blue is a fucking god. He's a, so he sucks. No, he He's does. He's really fucking bad. <laughs> Alfred Blue is the skinny Derrick Henry. It's unbelievable. I never want to hear the so two hundred. I never even want to hear the words Alfred Blue again. Bring back the EWF. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, I don't know, dude. Was it a random follower? Random, yeah. Oh shit. We we we've reached pinnacle EWF. Love that. Someone said good yeah. Uh okay. We have Ooh, Amari Cooper or Corey Davis this week? PPR. Cooper, come on. We were just yeah. talking shit on Corey Davis. Don't ever, don't ever put yeah. Corey Davis in the line. Definitely, exactly. I'm going with Cooper. He's he's gotten a lot of targets as a wide receiver one there, and uh, they're playing Atlanta. He's had nine targets. If you spend a first round pick on a guy, you better use him. Yeah, they're going to keep forcing him for better or worse. So go Cooper. By the way, that what that was amazing as a Giants fan. The Cowboys spent a first round pick on Amari. Terrible. Fucking Cooper. Terrible. Yeah, that, that's actually incredible. Very bad trade. I hope Jerry Jones never dies. <laughs> Once I mean, he dies, I mean he's doing you guys a favor. He's gonna live long enough, and I, I don't think that you guys are gonna. He's one hundred percent gonna live longer than I am. What if they like, <laughs> what if they, like freeze his head in the one of those jars? still run the team. <laughs> you just see him in the press box, like they yeah. just like, zoom in on Does his he, head. Like, is it just me? Like it, he looks like the stereotypical KKK guy. Like a. Why do you say that? What do you mean, wow? Old white. I don't man? think he looks. I feel like he looks like someone who just like. He looks like a white supremacist. Yeah, 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 like I wouldn't say that. I feel like white supremacy. Then again, really, almost all NFL. He doesn't players. look like a bad guy. He doesn't look like a bad <laughs> if you're guy. being unbiased, if you're not a Giants fan, Jerry Jones. If you saw him on the street, I, I would actually think he's a nice guy. Yeah, if you're not like wearing a sweater and jeans, like walking on the street, I would wrong. think he's a great guy. Actually, wrong. wrong. I would think he was a great guy. You're both wrong. After a game about, 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 four, about, four, about four years ago, we were we were trying to get my friend Sibanga out of uh, the drunk jail at MetLife Stadium, mm-hmm. Giants Stadium. <laughs> And um, it's where the players are. You need to send me this picture, by the so way, because I know I'll, what you're about I'll to send say. It to you. I'll send it to you so you guys can see. It's blurry, but you can clearly see who it is. And um, so we're standing there. We're waiting for C. Bang. He, he punched a Cowboys fan in the face because the Cowboys fan was coming after me. Whatever the case was, he misread the situation. Whatever the case was, it doesn't matter. Um, he had my back. That's all Yeah, my back. That's what, that's what Giants fans do through thick and thin. doesn't matter. Um... But yeah, he was in the drunk tank, and there was about four of us, five of us that were waiting for him so we can go home. And it's where the players, it's where the players leave, the players, the owners, would, you know, gentlemen, that's where they leave. So um, I see Jerry Jones in, a, in an SUV, a black SUV, he's in the front seat with, with a driver, I guess, whoever, whoever fucking buck his ass was that was. But... Um, so there's a little barrier, and I said, "Fuck you, Jerry!" <laughs> and I'm screaming, I'm like venom coming out my fucking my throat. <laughs> like you can see the veins popping out of my neck. The security can't say anything yet because I haven't done anything wrong. So I, uh, I start, I start getting real fucking angry because he started blowing me a kiss. Because he's a good guy. Yeah, Jerry Jones. I want him to be my grandfather. Jerry oh. Jones was blowing me a kiss, yeah. so I got, I got infuriated. I got infuriated. <laughs> I took my Eli Manning jersey off, so it was just a white shirt, an Eli jersey on. Took about, I started stepping on the barricade. I was going to the car. The car was parked. It's illegal. Whoever they were rooting for, whoever they were waiting for, I started stepping on the car. It's like, fuck you, Jerry. What did you fucking say to my face? And I'm, I'm screaming bloody murder. And he keeps, <laughs> stupid son of a bitch. This is a, a goddamn 
Dead God's honest story. Keeps blowing me kisses. And I'm irate. I take my second my I'm second, irate. My, second <laughs> my, irate. my second foot goes over the barrier and the security guard ripped me back. Well, yeah. me. You go, you want to join your friend the drunk tank? I was like, I ain't drunk. He goes, first of all, I know you're drunk. I'm like, second of all, well, I said, I said, first of all, it's after the game. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to that goddamn drunk tank. He goes, well, step the fuck back. Jerry Jones drives off like the fucking coward he is. So, all yeah. in all. Real coward move. Yeah. Sure. Right, he should have stayed and fought you, right? I <laughs> The owner of the Cowboys should have fought you. There were no cameras. <laughs> <laughs> he should have thrown this hands with like you. This was like pre iPhone 5 before video yeah. was really prevalent. This yeah, was, I'm going to. that. There's a. I, I love that picture. Might have been able to throw yeah, you can see my hand going like this. I'll, yeah, I'll and he's like picture. looking. Yeah, you can you see, see Jerry yeah. Jones' face in the back. This, like, this is, he keeps blowing me fucking kisses. And I keep telling him, Jerry, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. He's blowing me kisses. I respect that. True Giants fan. I, no, I am the Giants. <laughs> so, who is that? What is this? What did I join? <laughs> who said that? I don't know. This is True Life. I'm a Giants fan. True, yeah. True <laughs> what's, Life. What's that guy's name? True it's Life. Fun. I wish Jerry Jones was my grandfather. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> back up, you ugly fuck. Jesus. Digs at Bears. Juju at Jaguars. Full point. Oh, wow. Now that you put the F word in there, we're not going to answer that. Digs. Should I start considering dropping Funches? Has great matchups, ending the season, but he's ass. He is. Yeah, I would usually drop players that are ass. I mean, how's your depth? That's you know. Yeah, I mean, it always depends on who you're dropping, like who you're picking up. Like if you're picking up fucking James Conner, yeah, bro, didn't make that fucking <laughs> yeah, move. Yeah, yeah, James Conner's on the waivers. Yeah, Jalen Richard at Arizona this week, or Godwin at the New York Giants PPR flex. Not, not Godwin. Why? Because the Giants run on the table. <laughs> ignore that ignore what he just said how you uh, feeling Jalen Rashard Chris Godwin I'm gonna go with Godwin yeah I'd probably go with Godwin too I think I, I just like him more as a well, wide receiver yeah. yeah exactly this is the only like Jalen Rashard is in the perfect offense for having the pass catching role because Oakland sucks yeah. but they're playing they don't score touchdowns but they're playing the Cardinals this week which is the only game where they might not be phased out game script wise like Jalen Rashard might not be used that much that is uh, yeah I'd stay away from uh, from I'm staying away from that game entirely except for the Cardinals defense. Yeah, exactly. If you're going to play someone in that game, I just wouldn't watch the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if you have red zone, you can't really help it. I feel like I feel like every single question is Alex Collins or Deion Lewis. Unless this guy keeps asking. 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 Ask, asking. Asking. This is what we ask and answer in the same thing. Asking. Asking. Alex Collins. He's been scoring a touchdown. Collins or Deion Lewis versus Indy. Carries. And that's the uh, flip for Deion Lewis. Deion Lewis gets the carries and doesn't score the top. Yeah. I like Deion Lewis more this week than Alex Collins. I'm an Alex Collins. Yeah, me too. I have to go with Collins. So we got two for Collins, one for Lewis. I like, I don't know. I just think they're going to have to score points going against I'm, Indy. I'm very nervous about the quarterback. Max, how disrespectful do you think it is that Nick has the phone with the water bottle right in front of my face? I didn't even realize um, that. Let me move it. There you go. Perfect. Not, <laughs> <laughs> not the best look. What else do we got? Emmanuel Sanders and Duke Johnson for Drew Brees. Wait, what? You're going to trade two skill players for a quarterback? Do you not have a quarterback? Is this a is super, this flex super flex league? Yeah. Is this a quarter uh, two QB league bonnet? Who else is on this team? Yeah, yeah, I need a little more backstory. Speak to me. Because straight up, that's a retarded trade. It's a bad trade. Don't do that. Unless if, it's... If you do not have a quarterback, then maybe. Oh, Harris, you already know the answer to that question. All right, you ain't going to follow up with the answers? How much impact will Hugh Jackson have on Cincy offense? Uh, uh, he'll have a huge impact, just not in a positive way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Did yeah. you answer Joey Boone's question about the EWF? He didn't ask a question. He just said, bring it back. Bring a bike. As Are you the commissioner of the EWF? I'm the commissioner. I'm the owner. I'm the, two, I'm the only two-time champion. And I'm the first, first battle Hall of Famer. Why don't you think? Why don't you think Jerry Jones will have a sit down dinner with you if you're the owner of a federation and he's the owner of a, a, a high revenue team? EWF ran for six weeks. Well, owners box action. EWF yeah, ran for six weeks. they're on the same level. Four hundred and eight dollars. He made four hundred eighty dollars. Minimum. People just donated it to it. We we. Dude, I used to go to, the, I used to, to buy tickets. A whole to dollar. I don't. Me? I paid uh, VIP, I think. Our, you did. Our I last, came to those. I don't think our, I ever paid to that. I fucking yeah, robbed you. you must have got the our, last <laughs> our last pay-per-view, we had we, we made $111. You know how good I could make that video right now if you did that again with this? Oh, my God. Yeah, so so if Bell signs, uh, I'll give you uh, situations. We'll go Jets first. Yes. 
I don't think I would take him until early second round. If we're in a ten team league, I'm I don't, not taking him first round. Yeah, I don't think I'm taking him with my first round pick. Tenth pick. Would you take him at 10 11? Yeah, 9-10-11. Maybe. That's risky. He's a risky first round risky first round pick. And we don't actually know. I mean, we yeah. know how good Le'Veon Bell is just by watching him. Yes. But is he good enough to overcome a bad offense? There are not many running backs that can do that. You We, we forget, like, like the Steelers' offensive line is probably the best in football. Amazing. And the yeah. fact that look at their weapons. Like, it just stretches the field. You can it's, never zone in on Bell. Yeah. Put him on the Jets. Yeah. Like, put him on the Jets. Yeah. They're the only, he's the only guy because Donald sucks. He's going to average fucking 3.6 yards a carry or something. You know what I mean? Class. Like, yeah. Like, you look at running backs that you want at the top of the draft, fantasy-wise. I would wise, love him on the Colts. I would, that, that would be fun. That would, that would be really fun to watch because they'll utilize him so much in the passing game oh, and stuff. Yeah. That would be a good one. Um, so, Jets. Colts, yeah. Colts, I, I would be okay taking him. I'd it, take back in first round. Yeah, I, I would say like top eight yeah. or in that area. Eight, nine, ten. It's hard to tell because you don't know which rookies are going to be coming up. You don't know who's going to emerge. Is yeah, it'd be fun to watch him with uh, in Houston too with Hopkins on the outside, Deshaun yeah, Watson under quarterback. He's going to get rid of Lamar Miller. Yeah, exactly. Dude, th- the fact that they've just been going on with Miller and Blue for like three years now is unbelievable. That They're like okay with that. Deshaun Watson's really good. Yeah, he's, yeah. Fun. he's fun to watch. They got a good young core there, which is why I think it would make sense. And he's still on his rookie contract, which yeah. is why it's a good fit. Yeah. I think... Uh, Tampa Bay is another one that intrigues me, but we don't know what the quarterback situation is going to be. I guess we're going to have the coaching situation and everything over there, too. I don't yeah. think going to be a that, that might be – that's going to be a dumpster fire next He's, year. Where do you see Jameis going? You think he's going to stay? No. No chance. No. For him alone, he should just get the fuck out of Florida. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I totally forgot he went to FSU. He should go to fucking – he should go to the Jets. The Jets just signed his ass. Yeah, they're not going to do that. No. He'll, he'll, he'll go to – Maybe he'll be a Bronco. Maybe. Well, if anybody can get We're out away of it, it's Elway, right? Experiment. It's Elway? Elway's a fucking dog, too. He's, he's, he's hit and miss. He won Super Bowls off of Terrell Davis' back. I don't know if I'd say that. Well, I would. I just said Definitely that. one of them. Take that personally? Take that, take that as an attack? Listen, Eli won his Super Bowls on his own. Uh, <laughs> With the help of a helmet. A couple and, helmets. And, and the, like, the best defense that year. Or whatever. Uh... He had the 25th ranked defense in 2011. Oh, Connor. Shit, James Connor. Where does he go if he's the Steelers featured back next year? Oh, that's a good one. He's got to fit in over. He's a first round pick. pick. Oh, easily, yeah, I'm saying. Six. Just, but he cracks the f- top five. Six? I'd say. Uh, I, 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 don't say. I think Connor would be five. I think I he'd be five. I would take well, him over I Kamara. Think right, I think right now, he's. he's I would, See, I would go this. I go in. Nope. Yeah, well, I got. I guess I got to do an order. Is Big Girl, ben still there? I, yeah, yeah. Ben, Ben's there. Ben's the there. whole offense yeah. is going to be the same. Gurley, Con- Gurley, Hunt, Barkley, Gordon, Kamara, Connor. That's you would t- you would take Kamara Allen. over Connor? Yeah, well, I love uh, I love Allen Kamara. Yeah, I love. Him. Interesting. I would take Connor over that, but I think I probably agree with your statement. I think Mark Ingram's just about. He might die. I don't. I don't he's on his way out, and Kamara's going to be the. He I mean he already is the guy. Who will be a? Hill. How's that guy doing? Taysom Hill stealing carries. Just a weapon, bro. Sean Payton just adapts to the NFL, man. He's yeah, nice like that. Once a giant, always a giant. He's a great coach. He was a great giant. I like Sean Payton a lot. He was a great Giants coach. Mm-hmm. Jets player first round, hell no. <laughs> oh, man, we miss a lot of questions. Well, they shouldn't ask him so fucking fast. Giants getting Winston. <laughs> Who said that? Give I me like their it. handle. I like that. Why? Kyle of the Eli's the gone. Enables. We need somebody. We can draft Will Greer. I would love it. Devonta Adams, uh, top five receiver this week. Fuck yeah. I mean, this season, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Who was it? Him, Beckham, who were feeling first. I told you. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, these are just, this is just too many sit starts. I can't do it. Uh, guys, get away from the sit starts. Ask us other questions, not sit starts. Ask him why his hair is red. Ask me. I fucking dare you. <laughs> I literally fucking dare you. <laughs> anyway, yeah? Give him a minute to sit on it. See if they actually want to do it to you. You fucking pussies. I bet you won't ask. This ginger just likes to hear himself talk. Oh, I honestly think the Giants still have a chance. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> I agree. Penny or Royce for 2020? Royce. Does he have a soul? Oof. Oh, jeez. Hey, why the hell do you have red hair? Now they're all coming. Now they're firing at you. That's it. Favorite cheap beer? Keystone. Keystone yeah. Light, baby. 
Let's get it. Why do I have red hair? Ginger Ginger Snap got some bark. Ginger McVeigh. Yeah, don't I look a little bit like Sean McVay? I'll give you that one. Who's a better player, Aaron Jones or Marlon Mack? Not fancy wise. Aaron Jones. Yeah, I agree. Jones is a better running back. Probably gonna be a better fantasy player the rest of season two. You know, I'm a little bit hurt about those comments. You asked for it. Yeah. You literally you asked for you it. screamed at them and called them pussies. Well, they are. <laughs> Don't be hurt. Mount. Oh my god, I'm not actually. I'm not reading that question. Read out loud. it. Oh, it was fuck you, Joe. I'm not reading that question. Out Read loud. it. Not a chance. Not a chance. Read it. No. Hey, Nick. Is Kevin Farrow said hi? Hey, Kev. What's up, brother? Rams. Oh, we didn't talk about the Monday Night Football game. Oh, shit. Rams versus Chiefs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good fucking reminder. Is it? It's officially moved. Yeah, LA. Good. Yeah, it's officially moved to LA. Um, Minus two and a half, 63. And they are practicing in Colorado for the weekend, though, because of the fires, LA. Yes. Um, you know, it's funny. I was in California like three weeks ago. I was there for the fires when they were going on last in November, December of last year, when there were the crazy fires in LA. I was down in San Diego, but you could see, I took my drone up a few times, and you could see the fire like from when you take it up. And I have some friends out in LA now that were like showing me pictures and sending me videos. Fucking it's insane. madness. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but uh, we're not here to talk about the weather. We're here to talk about football, and we know Pat Mahomes is going to light this motherfucker off fire. Am I the only one that thinks this might be like a 20 to 70? Like 100% game. It's, uh, it's up. I'm going to be so hyped up that it's going to let us down. It's, it's 100% I'm, I'm not sure Pat Mahomes is capable of letting people down, though, on, on national TV. He's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yeah. That, that fuck Andy Reid, man. Knows what he's doing. The oh. God. The goat. What's he want? In- what does he want? No. Just my heart for being a fucking beast. I'd still rather have Jerry Jones as my grandpa, but Andy Reid's a good guy. Mm-hmm. This, is, this is where I like it. <laughs> um... No, let's 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 talk more about this game. I feel like we had a lot of implications, and I forgot. You know, I have Tyreek Hill, Kareem Hunt, both going. Out, okay, outside of Gurley and Hunt. Is there any bad play in this game? No, you play them all. You play them all. Play them yeah. all. There's yeah. not yeah. one person in this game you sit. Whether it's Cup, Mahomes, maybe the Chiefs, uh, and not Cup, the Rams, Goff, defense. Mahomes. Yeah, you don't play either. You don't play defense. Defense. defense, dumb motherfucker. Listen, you can play the kickers. Play the kickers. Who is yeah, yeah. Zero and I'll break your leg? Zerline all year. Is Jerlani still like playing? Uh, he was, I feel like he's been hurt. He's back. There's like a lot of a lot of kickers hurt. Matt Bryant hurt. Yeah. What's he done? I thought Jerlani died. No, he's he's still alive. He he's still alive. No, he's still alive. I think he's alive. like 24 and healthy. Huh? I think he's yeah. a good guy. Well, his name is Greg the Leg. Huh. What does that have to do with his health? He's got legs. <laughs> you can have legs and die. <laughs> do you disagree? <laughs> Man. <laughs> How do you feel about Reynolds that game? That's the only. Uh, yeah, that's the only guy I would maybe have. See, a little if he, it kind of scares me because the Chiefs have been quietly good against wide receivers um, over the last, honestly, like six weeks. Their defense has been pretty good, and it's because Kendall Fuller's lockdown slot cornerback. He's really good. Really, really redhead blows. Uh oh, we got George and fucking Trap in here now. This is unbelievable. <laughs> redhead blows, really? How high would you be willing to draft Mahomes next season? Uh, in standard league, or, or, or right. what's the form? Well, okay. Actually, I mean, we'll go through both. I think in, in one quarterback leagues, you still are not drafting him inside like the top four rounds. No. It, the difference between him and cornerback 15 is still like 15 points less than RB1 and RB15. There's six no value. Touchdown league, maybe. Six point touchdown, yeah. he's a little bit more valuable. Uh, super I flex league. Know. Super flex oh, league. Super and, flex league's going I, top go second round, top 12. Earlier than that. Aaron Rodgers went first round. This year for us. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the only reason. If Aaron Rodgers went first on this year, Mahomes has to go like top six. That's what I said, top twelve. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not doing it, but yeah. I won't. I won't. But it'd be nice to fucking own him next year. Oh yeah. Again. Of I don't like Patrick Mahomes. That's fine. He can sit on my fantasy team. All no, no, time. I love him as a fantasy player, as a football player. I just, you know, he's cost my dad a lot of money this year. <laughs> they like, they like step off the gas pedal. I just don't like him because he's a chief. So. Oh, you're a Broncos. Fan. Coming for that yeah, ASPG. Yeah. Oh, George, we uh. We already covered our matchup. Oh yeah, George. For a while, George. We yeah, we we, 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 we ripped your team, team so no yeah. words there. Yeah, I hope you got a band aid for your butthole. We we fucking opened it up for you. Oh no. Ask him, Aunt George. What's your prediction for first gift on Sunday? That he doesn't have any players on Thursday, right? George, you got anyone going tomorrow? What is it? Green Bay. Yeah. No, because I got MVS, I got Adams, no. and Aaron. Fuck, got I got Lockett. all these ch- Chargers. I mean, those fucking Packers. Yeah. Packer heavy. 
Yeah, Georgia's I'm not going to start NBS this week, I don't think. Gift guy. He, uh, he has two players that score touchdowns on his team. And he, Let me ra- I'm going to wrap up the video. We'll keep this rolling. All right, homies at home, Matt. Hopefully this thing is still fucking on. Yeah, we're rolling. All right, well, that's going to wrap up the second uh, episode of the E-Town Get Down Weekly Recap. As always, if you enjoyed, hit the button that looks like this. Scroll down a little bit. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We'll be doing this every week. I think they're going to continue to come out on Friday probably. Um, let us know what you want to see going forward. Let us know how bad George's team is down in the comments. And please stop talking about my hair. Stop talking about Nick's hair. He can't take the heat. I'm, I'm already out of the kitchen, so just stop. Yeah, I didn't even want to say it. I mean, you started with them. I disagree. So they're going to fucking bark at you. You're talking what, shit. What country did you think this was? This is big dog country, baby. Yeah. We out of here. Thank you all for the time, as always. We if love anybody you. wants to talk about Adam Thielen, <laughs> please. Get off my channel if you want to do that. Bye.